Hey guys, welcome back to 2017 Level 3 Integration uh, Exam Find CEA. Um, in this video, I'm going to be covering question 2. I'm just going to get straight into it. So find the integral of 6 divided by 2x minus 1. Okay. So basically, the trouble thing is you have a denominator and you have you actually cannot get rid of that. Okay. So basically, for this, you have to use the ln, okay, so the ln rule. So remember when you had the, for example, you had ln of x, that if you integrate ln of, uh, not integrate, if you differentiate ln of x, that will give you 1 over x. And it's in a similar way, uh, in a similar way, you'll be uh, integrate, uh, using a similar concept, you'll be integrating 6 divided by 2x minus 1. So basically, uh, you have uh, basically two steps in these kind of, kind of questions. Step one, okay, you're gonna differentiate the bar, the denominator, okay? So differentiate of 2x minus 1, that's just 2. Alright, notice that 6 is 3 times of 2. 3 times of 2. And that means um, uh, that you need it. So basically, like, for example, I had ln of 2x minus 1. So if you want to differentiate this, okay, so that just becomes 1 over uh, 1 over 2x minus 1 multiplied by the differentiation of the inner function, which is 2x minus 1. So the differentiation of 2x minus 1, and that's 2. So that will be multiplied by 2, and that will equal to 2 divided by 2x minus 1. But the thing is, we don't want 2 divided by 2x minus 1. We want 6 divided by 2x minus 1. So that's why we want to differentiate our denominator to find the 2 that was multiplied in the differentiation process. And we find that 2 and we compare it to what our numerator has. Our numerator is 3 times of the 2. And that means uh, we need to also multiply this by 3 in order to get 6 over 2x minus 1. So now, so now this thing we have to do is we just need to add a 3 in front of our ln. And that's all we have to do. So uh, all we have to do is just, so differentiation of that is 2. 6 is 3 times of 2, so therefore the integration of, sorry, just that equals 2. 3 uh, ln, so 3 ln of, 3 ln of 2x minus 1. And that will actually get you an achieved grade. Alright. Find the integral of 2x minus 5 to the power 4. Alright, once again, this is just basically the chain rule in reverse, okay? So you know in the chain rule, for example, we had um, 2x minus 5 to the power 5. Remember that we moved, uh, we, we, moved we multiplied the coefficient by the power, so the 5 went at, uh, went at the front, and we move the power down by 4. Um, not by 4, we move the power down by 1, which becomes 4. Notice that um, this part of the equation is the exact same as what we have here. But, however, we have this, um, oh, 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 sorry, when we differentiate, we also need to multiply by whatever the differentiation of 2x minus 5 is, so we need to multiply by 2 as well. So that equals to 10 times of 2x, sorry, 10 multiplied by 2x minus 5 to the power 4. Alright, so now notice we have the 2x minus 5 to the power 4, but we, what we don't want is the 10 at the front. The 10 at the front is what we don't want. Alright, so what do we need to do to our final, uh, to our final integration to make sure that we get rid of the 10? and uh, make it a 1, okay, so just 1 multiplied by something is still that, so therefore we just don't write the 1, okay? So therefore, what we what do we need to do to our 10? We need to multiply our 10 by 1 over 10, so 10 multiplied by 1 over 10, and that will give us the 1 we need. So therefore, so therefore, um, we could say that if our f of x equals to this, then uh, we will get a result of this, uh, 10, divide, uh, 10 multiplied by 2x minus 5 to the power of 4. We don't want we don't want the 10, so we're going to write that our integration uh, of 2x minus 5 to the power of 4 dx. The integration of this is actually 2x minus 5 to the power of 5 divided by 10. So now um, so now the 10, the multiplied by 10, is now going to multiply by 10. Well, I mean, like, not, not actually, but like, the, the 10 that's going to come is just going to cancel out the divide by 10, and therefore it's just going to leave um, 2x minus 5 divided by, uh, to the power of 5. So that's just, so that's your uh, final answer there, and that, once again, is a cheap question. Wait, is that a cheap question? Um, yes, and this is a cheap question. So that's another uh, a cheap question there. 
Um, all right, forget the plus C on both sides. Sorry, guys. Um, that's just two plus. Sorry, guys. That's really stupid. That's essential to not miss. Sorry, guys. Apologize once again about the two plus Cs. Okay. When you integrate, you always need to add the plus Cs unless it's a definite integral. So, sorry about that, guys. That's lazy on my part. The diagram below shows the curve y equals to negative x squared plus 3x plus 10 and the line y equals to negative x plus 14, which is a tangent to the curve of the point 2, 12. And we want to calculate the shaded area. Alright, so the shaded area, as you can see, is shaded in grey, and that's below the graph of, two, uh, of the linear graph, okay? So now we need to f uh, find the area, but notice that if we find the area of the uh, beneath the linear graph from from the x equals to two to x equals to fourteen, we'll get this entire area, this area included. So all of this area, all of this area would be equal to the integration of x minus uh, negative x plus fourteen and fourteen to um dx. Okay. So this entire area would be uh, equal to uh, this function here. And that is because that's the total area beneath the graph from points 2 to 14. That's the total area beneath the linear graph. That's the reason that um, the integral of um, 14 substitute into our equation minus 2 substitute into our equation, that's going to give us our area. But notice that we don't want the y area. Okay, this, this what I'm talking about, this area here, we don't, we don't want that y area. So, so I'm going to leave that. Sorry, we should leave this line here. So, notice we have a parabola, okay? And uh, once again, this point is 2 where they're both touching, okay? That's the important thing. It's a tangent of a curve. They're both touching at that point. Notice that if we remove the area from 2 to 5 of the parabola, so the uh, area, of this part of the area, that's 2 to 5 on the x-axis, and, and that's below the parabola. If we remove that area from this area will get our shaded area. So that's basically how you're going to go about this question. So basically, this function minus um, the integral of um, so 5 and 2 of negative x squared plus 3x plus 10. All right, so that's basically what you need to do. Uh, it's pretty, uh, the integration is pretty straightforward. So integration 14 and 2. Of negative fourteen, uh, negative x plus fourteen dx minus integral, uh, sorry, minus integral of five two negative x squared plus three x plus ten dx. All right, so now we just need to integrate, which is really easy. You just add one to the power, divide by the new power, so that becomes. So this part, this becomes um, negative x so that becomes. Um, what am I doing? Um, negative, negative x squared divided by 2 plus 14x. Once again, this is a definite integral, so we don't need to plus c. Okay, just keep that in mind. So 14 and 2 minus uh, the integral of this would be negative x cubed divided by 3 plus 3 over 2x squared plus 10x. And that's between 5 and 2. So now it becomes a really long and annoying part, okay, but unfortunately we, we do need to uh, do it in order to find our answer. So you need to substitute 14 into, 14 into this equation and minus 2 substitute into this equation, okay. So uh, negative 14 squared, so negative 196 divided by 2 plus 14 times of 14 minus, minus, oh sorry, that's, minus, 2 substitute into our equation, so negative 2 squared, 2 squared is 4, negative 4, divided by 2, plus of 28. 14 times 2 is 28. So. And that's, and that take, um, and this result is minus this result, okay, but we're going to worry about that later. But first, we're going to find out what this value would come out to be. So negative 196, negative 196 divided by 2, negative 98 plus 14 times 14. positive 98, so positive 98 minus um, negative 2 mi minus of 26. That should give you your, uh, that should come out to be 72. And we, now we need to do 72 minus of x, uh, negative x 
cubed divided by 3 plus 3 over 2 x squared plus 10 x between 5 and 2. So now we just leave the 72 to one side minus. Now we do 5 substitution to our equation minus 2 substitution to our equations. So 5 cubed divided by 3 negative plus 3 over 2 5 to the power of 2 plus 50 minus minus of 2 substitution to our equation. So negative 2 cubed divided by 3 plus 3 over 2, 2 squared plus 20. Uh, 5. Uh, just simplify using a calculator, okay. Sorry. Um, negative. Alright, so after simplifying, okay, you should be getting um minus forty five point eight three 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 minus um two to the power of three is eight. Uh, negative eight divided by three plus one point five times four plus twenty minus twenty three point three 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 three. So now it's just really simplifying what we have. Sorry about this, it's really a really slow, slow process. Now it is. And you should get your answer, your final answer as 49.5 and the unit should be in units, just say, just say unit squared. It doesn't give you a specific, doesn't give you a specific measurement, so you can just say 49.5 units squared and getting up to there that will get you your uh, merit grade merit grade for this question to get an achieved grade you have a correct integration um, Correct integration of both expressions. Okay, so correct integration. So this and this will get you an achieved All right, next question uh, Part of the graph of y equals the sine 3x cos 2x is shown below Find the error enclosed between sorry. Find the error enclosed between the curve y equals the sine three x cos two x and the lines y equals to zero, x equals to zero, and x equals to pi over four. All right. So once again, it wants us to find the area, this area here. So between zero and pi divided by four, they want us to find that area. So once again, we need to integrate to find our area function. But notice we have sine three x and cos two x, and we can't actually immediately differentiate that. Not differentiate, integrate that. You need to go back to your uh, formula sheet and you need to find uh, a product rule that has a uh, sign of something multiplied by cos of something. So you should see this this rule here. So 2 sine of a cos of b equals to sine of a, um, not s, but sine equals to sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b. You should see this formula, okay? Just replace a and b with x, okay? So you should see that formula like that, okay? So basically, um, we have sine 3x and cos 2x, okay? So we need to find the integral of between pi over 4 and 0 of sine, oh, not sim, sine 3x cos 2x. Okay, uh, so basically, um, we notice that sine a cos, uh, cos b equals to sine of a plus b plus sine of a minus b divided by 2, okay? So now we can say that uh, sine 3x multiplied by cos 2x, and that equals to sine of uh, 3x plus 2x plus sine of a minus uh, a minus b which is 3 minus 2 so 3x minus 2x and the whole thing divided by 2. So now as you see that this actually simplifies to sine of 5x plus sine of x okay and divide by 2. And further simplifying this we'll get um, that equals to half of sine 5x 
plus half of sine x. And now we can actually integrate really easily, okay? So now we can say the integral of between pi, pi divided by 4, pi divided by 4 and 0, of 1 half sine 5x plus 1 half of sine x dx. So now we're just going to apply really uh, uh, the rules I was uh, talking about earlier, where you need to find the um, differentiation of the inner function and then divide by that differentiation, okay? <coughs> So basically, a uh, sine. Go back to your formula sheet. So uh, sine, a uh, negative sine uh, will become cos. So you can just put the negative on the other side. So sine will become negative cos. Okay. So of uh, one half, so that becomes one over ten, negative cos of five x, plus, uh, plus. The sine of x is just sine of x, so it becomes uh, 1 over 2 negative cos of x. And that's our area function, okay? So between pi divided by 4 and 0. Now we can simplify this, we can say negative 1 over 10 cos of 5x plus 1 over, uh, negative 1 over, so minus basically, plus or minus, so minus 1 half of cos of x, and that's between pi divided by 4 and 0. Now we just need to substitute and find the difference. So 1, 10, cos of 5 pi over 4, minus 1 over 2, cos of pi over 4, and well, we need to minus that from so 0 substitution to our formula. So one, negative 1 over 10, cos of 0, minus 1 over half, cos of 0. And it's pretty. It's quite a lot of simplifying. Okay, you need to plug into your uh, calculator, and uh, to save us time, I'm not gonna actually. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it myself. Okay, but you should get your final answer. Uh, just let me check it out here. So you should get. Um, um, Should get your final answer as uh, zero point three one seven two, and that should be your final answer. And um, it tells you to find the area, so you can just say unit squared. That's your as your answer. And that's a merit question. There, we'll get you a correct merit question. And to get an achieve, you have a correct integration. So correct integration I'm talking about is this part here. It's an achieved. All right, moving along. The acceleration of an object is modeled by the function a of t equals to 20 ln of t divided by t, where a is the acceleration of the object in meters per second per second, t is the time in seconds since the start of the object's motion. The object was moving with a velocity of 12 meters per second when t equals to 4. Find the velocity of the object up to 10 seconds. Once again, it's our kinematics. We have a of t, we need to find v of t. We need to integrate in order to do so. Uh, as you notice, you have ln of t. So you notice that's actually really hard to integrate straight away. So what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use integration by substitution. So I'm going to get rid of uh get rid of something in our in my equation and replace it with a letter. The letter is usually u. Uh, usually just use u because u is the common letter that the uh, um that is used for this situation. So I'm going to say that uh since ln of t is the is is something that is really annoying and really difficult to integrate straight away, we're going to say that uh, ln of t equals to u, okay? And we can say, uh, therefore, our a of t equals to 20u divided by t. Now, okay, so now we have this t and u, um, since we have both t, oh, sorry, so a of t, uh, that we have both u and t, and we need to get rid of the t and replace it with a u in order to integrate. So now what, what our integration looks like right now is the integration of uh, 20u divided by t dt. Alright, so the two things we need to change is we need to get rid of this dt and replace it with du the, uh, because we can't integrate with dt uh, because we want to integrate in terms of u, okay? And we also want to get rid of this t and replace it with a u. So that's two things we need to do. So how are we going to how are we gonna do this? Uh, so how are we going to do this? Okay, it's, we're going to use this equation in order to find 
sorry, we're going to use this equ equation to find um, uh, t in terms of u and dt over uh, dt, du over dt, okay? So, du over dt, okay, that's the differentiation of this here, that equals to 1 over t. Now, we, we want to get rid of the d, we want to get rid of the dt and replace it with du, so we want to do du equals to something. So, du equals to 1 over t multiplied by dt. That's what our du equals to, but we need to find what our dt equals, uh, sorry. Actually, uh, the better way to do this actually is just use cross multiplication. So, cross multiply like this is actually better. Sorry about that. You should cross multiply is actually easier. So dt equals to dut, and now we can actually uh, get rid of the get rid of the dt and replace it with du. So now our integration will look like twenty u divided by t multiplied by dut. So now uh, it will just become twenty u. Uh, 20ut divided by t. Notice that the good thing is that our two t's will cancel out, so we actually don't need to find uh, uh, what our t equals to. We could have found what our t equals to. Our t would have been uh, e to the power of u, okay? That's what our t would have been, but because the two t's cancel out, we actually don't need to do that anymore. So therefore, we can just do integral of 20u du. And that's really straightforward. E, uh, Easy integration, you add 1 to the power and you divide by the new power. So integration 20u squared divided by 2. Um, that, no, sorry, that equals to that. So that equals to 10, uh, 10u, sorry, that equals to 10u squared plus c. Uh, don't forget the plus c. So that's our integration, okay? But... Right now, okay, u is, once again, we don't want to, we, now we don't want u, we finished our integration, so now we want to get rid of the u. We replace it back with ln of t. So now we can say 10 of ln of t squared, uh, u is ln of t, so ln of t squared, plus c, and that equals to our v of t. So now we need to find what our c value is, and that we can use, when the velocity was 12, the uh, time was 4. So v of t equals to 12 and t equals to 4. Once again, it's just a matter of using your calculator. Okay, so ln of 4, uh, square the result, and multiply that by 10. And uh, your, you should get your c value should be equal to, uh, c value should give you... Um, negative c should be equal to negative seven point uh, two one eight. So now you have your view, uh, your complete equation. So that's ten times of ln of t squared minus seven point two one eight. Okay, you're not quite done. You need to find what the velocity was at ten seconds. So you just substitute t equals to ten. So that equals to ten times of ln of ten squared minus seven point two one eight. Once again, it's just a matter of using your calculator, okay, so make sure you don't make any silly mistakes. So if you're not confident to do it in one line, you don't have to. You just need to make sure that uh, your brackets are in the right place, because if one bracket is missing, that could cost you uh, your entire grade, okay? So it's important, it's really important to um, keep in mind that it's important to um, remember where to put your brackets. So you should get your final answer as 40, uh, V of 10 should give you your answer as 45.8 meters per second. And that is your final answer there. And getting your correct answer as 45.8 meters per second, uh, that will give you the excellence grade. To get a merit grade, you're looking at a correct integration only. So correct integration should look in at V of T. Sorry, that, with, uh, that should be with the C value. So V of T equals to 10 ln of t squared minus 7.218, that should get you a merit grade. Yeah, the marking is a bit, it's a bit weird, I don't know why. You basically did all the hard work already to get to the v of t equation, so basically there's, there's not going to be many people getting merit in this question, so it's either you get, either you get nothing or you get excellence, basically. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching this uh, video, um, I'll be sure to post part 3 soon. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.